Kadeem, tell me about the um, the last few days. What has the uh, Portsmouth experience been like for you? Um, you know, it was a great experience, you know, for my teammates and myself and every other college player that's um, playing in this tournament. Um, we had got exposure, got a chance to play in front of um, NBA teams, and a lot of guys got a lot of interviews by NBA teams, and it was a great all-around thing. What was your reaction when you got invited? Were you dead set on, on coming here? I mean, obviously, playing at the University of Arizona, having a top-10 draft pick next to you all year, you got plenty of exposure in front of NBA teams. Did you feel like... Um, you had, you know, things that you could show here that people maybe hadn't seen in Arizona. What was your mindset going in here? Uh, yeah, I came in, you know, coach told me I was going to come here and, you know, um, it, it, it was an option for me and I took the option, you know, uh, got a chance to show my offensive game, um, got a chance to show I could do a lot more other things and then play defense. But, you know, I'm really here to play defense and I'm set on that role. Tell us a little bit about yourself, people that are watching this and might not know too much about you in terms of your background. I mean, it's it's, it's unique. I mean, you didn't, you know, you weren't a McDonald's All American. The guy, you weren't Aaron Gordon that showed up at Arizona and had, you know, you had to kind of work to to get to where you are right now, right? Uh, yes, you know, um, you know, I've always been that kid, you know, uh, the underdog. Um, I just like being an underdog, coming out on top, and you know, going out there competing, giving my all, and, and just showing them how, how much of a dog I am. What, how come you, how, how did you end up in, in, in junior college? How, what was that, you know, that road like for you? Um, just tell us about, like, how you got to today right now. Um, you know, um, you know, from Wilmington, North Carolina, um, not really a lot of exposure down there, so no AAU. Um, you know, so I had to go to junior college. Um, I had one offer coming out of high school, Eastern Carolina. Um, you know, so I had to go to junior college, and I just fought through it, stuck with it, and ended up at Arizona. What was that transition like for you being, you know, a prolific scorer and, you know, being asked to come in, first of all, red shirt, and then, you know, kind of ex accept the, being the, the defensive stopper on the team in Arizona? Um, you know, when you get to certain programs, you know, you have to do your job, um, know your role. So I got to a place where, where other guys were able to put the ball in the basket. I didn't have to do it as much. Um, coach got on me about shooting the ball. Uh, wanted me to shoot a lot more than I shot the ball, but um, you know I just doing my job, doing my role, and I was to play defense and guard the other team's best player. You were very efficient this year offensively. Your three-point percentage was over forty percent. I mean, it did. You know, like you were saying that coach got on you at times. What? Do, are, is that something you're going to be able to do at the, at the NBA level? You know, if you're open for three, I mean, you have nice form, and we saw you make shots even today. I mean, is that something that you're working towards? Uh, yes, I've been doing a lot of ball handling and, and shooting the ball a lot more. I'm um, just trying to get confidence in myself, get more confidence in my game, and, you know, just get back to that play I was once before, and, and that's just scoring the ball and also keeping up with my defense. It's interesting because when you think about a guy that was, uh, you know, leading scorer in JUCO, I don't know how many points you averaged there, but you don't think about guys that you kind of have to ask them to, to shoot the ball, right? Uh, like I said, you know, it's just, it's just a role. It's just a role I accepted. And, uh, you know, coach, coach gave me the keys to that role. Um, I accepted it. Uh, so I, I was the leader of the team. And, you know, I couldn't talk back with him what he said. I just, I just went out there and did my job. Where does your athleticism come from? I don't know. Um, I just I just go out there and play basketball. It was something that I always had. Um, I had chances to show it. You know, I never really showed it. I just got out there today and just felt like I just needed to show it more. And your intensity, your you know, your toughness. Where, where does that come from? Yeah, it just comes from within. Man. It's, just, it's just a a sense of pride thing. You know, um, I don't like being scored on. You know, I got probably got beat a couple times today uh, this tournament. But uh, you know, it happens and. You know, it just, it's just heart, man. It's just heart that I have, and I just like to compete. Anybody in the NBA that you enjoy watching that you think maybe you can kind of play a similar role to? My favorite player is Avery Bradley. Um, you know, I like how he increases offensive skills each year. He got better and better. And, you know, at the end of the day, he's a dog. Uh, he likes to compete on defense, and the same as Patrick Beverly. How many positions do you think you can guard effectively at the NBA level? Uh, I think I guard in one through three. Uh, I feel I'd be efficient guarding in one through three. What are the next two and a half months going to look like for you? Uh, just a lot of training uh, out in Dallas. Um, Tyler Ralph, uh, we're doing a lot of training and tightening up my ball handling and shooting the ball a lot and just trying to get ready. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate it. Thank you.